do you describe your music? ¿Cómo describes tu música? I try not to describe it. It's everything I want to tell people is in the notes. Some people want to tell stories, they use words. I use sound and rhythm and notes to speak. Uh, I don't just, I don't write any particular type of music. I don't write classical music or jazz or uh, Middle Eastern music. I just write music. Okay. Uh, some people uh, describe your music uh, like a new age. Some people describe your music like a contemporary instrumental music. Uh, do, are you uh, agree with this, these terms? I'm more comfortable with contemporary instrumental music. I don't even know what new age music is. In the old days when I was starting out and I used a lot of synthesizers, I was called an electronic musician. Then eventually they called me a new age musician. But um, I really, again, I, what I do is I just write music the way I like it, the way it feels right to me. And with it, I try to um, describe what life feels like to me. Right now, it's very beautiful. I, I, I'm enjoying it very much. The past 10, 15 years, it has been very, very intense, to put it mildly. Um, it's, but the last couple of years, I took a little time, and I'm not touring, I haven't been touring, I haven't been doing interviews. Um, and I, I was in the studio, I wrote music, which I love creating. So it's been very good for me. I was reading that you uh, play rock and roll also, and you have like a, a group called Chameleon, right? Uh, how do you uh, complement uh, this kind of music to your music? Well, Chameleon was a great training ground for me because I used to produce their albums in the studio. So I got used to uh, using the studio, I got used to working with musicians and try to get the best out of them, the performances and so on. Plus, it gave me tremendous uh, stage experience. So when you get them on stage for the first time, your hands are shaking, you're very nervous. And so after years and years of doing that, I, I learned a lot about how to do concerts, what makes a concert work, and why. So it was a good school for me. Uh, tell us about uh, what the idea came from. Uh, I remember it was in hmm, six, seven years ago. We were sitting at my house in Greece. It's about four in the morning. We had our feet up, and we were sitting in our shorts. It's the summer with a couple of friends, and uh, we were talking about the Acropolis. And it's every... Greek artists dream to someday be able to perform there because they don't allow everybody to go there. They're very, very, very particular about who performs. So, and we, I remember talked about we talked about it and we just said, you know, someday I should do this concert. Little did I know that a year and a half later I was going to be doing it and it was going to be successful. Um, the Taj Mahal and the Forbidden City were places that I always admired and it was a dream for me to do something like that. I thought, okay, the next step should be, I wanted to go to China and India because they're the biggest, the two biggest nations on the planet. And I felt I had a good chance that they might actually like my music, I wasn't sure. Um, but they, it proved to be true and it was wonderful because it was coupled with a, a, an extensive tour of China. And I went to tour China. I, I toured China extensively, different cities, Shanghai and Beijing and Guangzhou. And so we learned quite a lot. It was, it was a tremendous experience. Have you planned to, to play in Latin America sometime? Absolutely. I love uh, I got my first taste uh, of Spanish <laughs> blood in Mexico. They're fiery people and they're a lot of fun. And, and uh, I've had musicians. Uh, one of my guitarists is from Peru. Uh, Ramon Stagnaro is his name. I have my flutist is from Venezuela, from Caracas. So I've had I've had quite uh, a few people from south. So you have the the Latin rhythm. And, and I, I love that. Yes, and my percussionist is uh, from Cuba. So you know I, I get to hear a lot of uh, Latin American music and uh, it, it, their influences in my music. I. I dream of you playing probably in Machu Picchu in Cusco, Peru. Have you uh, have that idea? Yes, we, we have actually discussed it extensively. It is a very difficult concert to do because of the location. Um, besides that, any of these concerts, for example, the Taj Mahal, the Forbidden City, took me two years to plan. It takes a long time. And it's not something I can keep doing um, every year. So Machu Picchu is a, is a possibility. We have really looked into it. So we'll see. I don't know. 
Let's talk about uh, your new production. If I could tell you, it's uh, it passed seven years since you have no grab in a studio. So uh, I see a lot of, of Arabic and African influence in this uh, new production. Why? Because it's a lot of fun. That's why. Um, when I do music, I try to describe an emotion. And, and subconsciously, I make choices. I have traveled quite extensively all, all over the world. And wherever I go, I, try to, I have an open mind. I like all kinds of music. I listen to anything. And I learn from it. And I try to understand the cultures. These things go inside me. So when it's time for me to write music, I choose what I feel is the most appropriate way to describe an emotion. Thank you very much, uh, Johnny, for being with us. Uh, we really appreciate your music. Pleasure, thank you.